Hi, my name is Shane Frills with Livestrong.com. Today we're going to show you several good exercises for a strained thigh muscle. Now there's a couple different ones. If your muscle is strained, that means we're not going to put a lot of pressure on it. So I'm going to keep you away from getting into an isolated machine. We don't want to put too much pressure on it. So let's do it from a freestanding range of motion. Let's look at it just in a small range of motion with just body weight alone. So as you get ready to do these exercises, make sure you're good and warm before you do the exercise. Uh, adequate blood flow to the muscle tissue is going to be very much needed so that we don't strain it even more because cold muscle tissue is going to add more strain. So as you get ready to do these exercises, it starts with isolation or shall we say isometric. Isometric means you're holding a contracted state for periodization without concentric or eccentric range of motion. So I'm going to do an isometric exercise. What it looks like is just holding your legs straight out and it's going to activate the quad, okay? So that's just activation of the quad. It's called isometric, all right? Now then, concentric, eccentric range of motion would be flexing the leg here and then extending it here. So you're going through flexion, extension. Now again, we're not trying to put too much pressure on that strained thigh. So let's just get it warmed up. Let's get it moving. Now then, you can also do some activation exercises with range of motion. So you're going to do isometric, but concentric, eccentric range of motion through the hip. So I'm still working on the quad, protecting it, not adding more strain to it at the same time. My name is Shane Frills, and I hope you like the exercises we just showed you on what you can do with a strained thigh muscle. Use them well, and have an amazing day.